Hello everyone, this is Richard from Hong Kong Healthy Life. This video is the start of a record of my wife and my experience in taking NMN and resveratrol. So I'm assuming that you found this channel because you have heard of these supplements and are interested in their possible effects on aging. Although there is a lot of information on the web, it's not all in one place and it can be confusing. So I hope that this video is useful for other people who have just started or are thinking about starting with these supplements. So in this video, I will concentrate on the protocols that we follow and our experience taking NMN and not the details of the supplements themselves and how they work. So I do want to make a disclaimer at this point. This is just a record of uh, my personal experience with these supplements for your, for your information. This is not medical advice. So just to provide some context, a little bit about us. So uh, I am 58 years old. My wife is a little bit younger. In the past 12 months, we have been researching in the areas of health and wellness. And during the time, during this time, many of the things that we used to believe in terms of uh, the diet and exercise that we should be doing have been challenged. Uh, and based on this, we made some changes. My wife was always kind of slim, but I have lost uh, 10 kilograms and decreased body fat while increasing my muscle mass. So I'm happy that the protocols that we are using are now working. So for longevity, we have been studying the work of Dr. David Sinclair from the Harvard Medical School, which led us to NMN and resveratrol. So he published a paper in 2016 where he covered the effects of NMN and resveratrol on aging in mice. And he is at the forefront of the field. He is also kind enough to share what supplements he takes so I'm using his regimen as a template. So the primary source for this is his book, Lifespan, and where he lists his supplements on page 304. And he has provided updates to this on a number of the podcasts that he has attended. And by the way, the book itself is a, is a really good read and has a lot of background information on NMN and resveratrol and how they work. So Dr. Sinclair takes um, one gram of NMN, one gram of resveratrol and TMG daily. He also takes metformin, but this is a prescription drug that I do not have access to and may have some side effects. So I have seen articles that compare berberin to metformin. For example, one on PubMed called metformin and berberin, two versatile drugs in the treatment of common metabolic diseases. And so I have started taking 500 milligrams of berberin daily. So I started NMN with my wife three months ago with 150 milligrams. We had heard that there could be some side effects if you pump up the dosage too quickly and we started with this smaller amount. So there were no side effects uh, and we seem to be have, have better energy. So we upped the dose after four days to 300 milligrams same story after two weeks so we upped to 600 milligrams per day and that is where we are now uh, so just a quick note on the supplements that i'm showing i do not necessarily recommend these they just happen to be the ones that, that i'm using at the moment so nmn is a powder and comes in a small container like this with a uh, scoop that has 150 milligrams and, and it's the scoop that I use to judge how much uh, NMN I'm, I'm taking. So uh, we are taking the powder and we're dissolving it in water. So just uh, take out for 600 milligrams, four scoops, four flat scoops, put it into the water, stir it up and drink it. So there have been a number of discussions as to the best method of taking NMN and Dr. Sinclair has given it to his mice in their drinking water. And so the effects that he saw on mice came through oral, taking it orally, orally with water. So this seems to make sense that this method works. Uh, he also takes his in a capsule with coffee. So he also takes it orally. So another recommended method is sublingual or under the tongue. And so the reason behind this, the purpose of this is that the NMN will then dissolve directly into the bloodstream through the, through the mouth rather than going through the gut and being processed by the liver. 
So on a recent blog post, Dr. Sinclair confirmed that he does not use this method. And in a discussion with, however, you know, in a discussion with Peter Attia, Dr. Sinclair and Attia talked about the best method of getting NMN into the body. And the conclusion was that it's not really known at the moment, but that Dr. Sinclair did agree that there may be some downsides to taking it orally. So I've therefore started taking some sublingually. So far I have found that it dissolves in my saliva and I'm not sure how much I'm swallowing and how much is being absorbed. So I will try it on the outside of the mouth and see if that appears to be more effective. So resveratrol. So resveratrol uh, comes in uh, capsules and uh, this is in, and in a kind of dark bottle and we'll get to that in a second. So resveratrol, I'm, we are taking one gram. Resveratrol is fat soluble, so is tougher to ingest. So on a podcast that Dr. Sinclair did with Dr. Paul Saladino, he said that taking it in a capsule with water is not effective. He pointed to this being uh, a possible reason why some of the trials of resveratrol had failed. So Dr. Sinclair takes it with yogurt and I do it the same way and it works in that the resveratrol does dissolve into the yogurt. So I found uh, the plainest, so I found a plain yogurt with the lowest sugar content that I could, um, but full fat. So it, do note it has to be a full fat yogurt because you need the fat to help with the absorption of the, of the, of the resveratrol. So I, I take a scoop of the yogurt, put it on a tablespoon, store up the stir up the resveratrol dissolves into the yogurt and then just eat the yogurt and that's that's how i take resveratrol just as a side note we did try to dissolve it into ghee and put it into bulletproof coffee uh but i for me i found that it didn't go well with the taste of the the bulletproof coffee and also some of it seemed to come out of solution uh you know in the coffee so uh i think yogurt is the better method um and then there's TMG, trimethylglycine, which comes in a bottle like this. So this comes in uh, capsules. So TMG, I'm taking 500 milligrams. Now, TMG is not one of the uh, supplements that Dr. Sinclair has listed in his book, although he has talked about it on a number of podcasts, in particular when he was talking with Dr. McCola he discussed it, right? And the reason that I've included TMG is that the processing of, of NMN in the body requires a number of methyl groups. And methyl groups are used within the body for many different processes and if they get depleted, there can, there can be some side effects. And so having, so making sure that you replenish them could be important. So Dr. Sinclair says, you know, he takes it as a precaution. And so, and so I am doing very similar myself, just taking uh, this 500 milligrams TMG. It's a tablet, just swallow it. With, it's a capsule, just swallow it with water. So I take these supplements in the morning on an empty stomach. So I have taken them in the evening, but I think that they disturb my sleep. I think it was NMN that you know, I took a couple of times and then it kept me awake at night. So I think the morning is better and Dr. Sinclair takes his in the morning. So one topic that I that does not get covered very much and I think is important is how to store the supplements. So Dr. Sinclair says that NMN is not overly stable and should be kept cool in a fridge or freezer and away from water. If it becomes moist, it becomes unstable. In particular, he said if it's in solution, he had to change the solution for his mice every seven days. So it, you know, it is unstable. So it needs to be kept cool and dry. Uh, I am keeping it in a wine cellar. So resveratrol is also not overly um, stable and is in fact uh, light sensitive and should be kept away from sunlight. So that's why it's important that the bottle is, is dark. Um, and also, Dr. Sinclair suggests that this should also be kept cool. So we are keeping ours in a, again, in the wine cellar. Now, resveratrol should be white or off-white. And, you know, if it gets affected by light, it will become brown. And 
Dr. Sinclair said that brown is ineffective. So um, yeah, keep it away from light. Now one other last thing on resveratrol. So resveratrol comes in two forms. It comes in a cis and a trans resveratrol. And these are just a way that the molecule is ordered. Dr. Sinclair tried both in his lab and he says that cis is not effective and so it should be trans resveratrol. I have not actually seen any cis resveratrol supplements, so maybe all of them are trans resveratrol, but it would be worth checking that that is what you are buying, that it is trans resveratrol. So uh, that's for the supplements. Now, how am I going to track whether this is actually, you know, taking these supplements is actually working. So as much as possible, I would like to be scientific, um, although about monitoring my progress, although I think most of the scientific measures will take a long time to show. So the best method of measuring biological age at the moment is through the methylation of DLA, DNA. And this has been standardized through something called the Horvath clock. So I have found a company based in Hong Kong that will do a methylation test similar to the Horvath clock, but they use their own set of markers. So the test is reasonably priced and is available worldwide. So you uh, sign up and then they send you a kit in a box that looks like this, which allows you to collect some saliva and then send it back. Um, I have sent my sample in a couple of days ago and I'm now waiting for my results, which should come out in about a month's time. And I will cover my results in the experience in a later video. So uh, I'm also tracking my physical performance as this is one of the key things that Dr. Sinclair says was improved in his mice. So I'm tracking uh, my, my weightlifting. Uh, I'm also tracking my running. So, you know, 12 months ago, I had a bit more time and my, I was, and my performance was better. So it will be interesting to see whether, you know, with NMN, I'm able to, given my age, I'm able to get back to my uh, previous performance. So we also recorded a video of, you know, how I look at the beginning and um, we'll record another one in six months and another one in a year. Uh, and so we'll see after six months whether my hair has got any grayer and whether I have any more wrinkles or indeed if things have, have got better. Um, so we also had a body analysis done. M you know, most of the results are okay, though I, I am close to the upper limit on my fasting glucose. So it will be interesting to see whether the berberine brings that down. Uh, both my wife and I had high LDL cholesterol, a little bit above the uh, recommended level. So this may be because we have switched to a more uh, high fat diet recently, low carb, high fat. And uh, I would be very interested to, uh, in, uh, in the experience of other people if they have taken, you know, have switched to this kind of style, style of diet and whether it's had this effect on their cholesterol. Um, so my liver enzymes, AST and ALT, were both in the normal range. This would, this is something that I will keep keep an eye on because methylation is something that happens in the liver, and uh, you know if there is a problem with methyl, it may show up in these enzymes. So definitely have another one of those done at the six month mark, and we will see whether how any of these have moved and whether there's any improvement or not. So what is uh, our experience with NMN so far. So as I said, we've been uh, taking NMN and resveratrol for three months now. In the scheme of things, this is not, this is quite a short time. And as we're really just starting out, it's difficult to be, uh, you know, scientific about it at this point, but some anecdotal comments that uh, have come up, which I think some other people, you know, I see on the, on the, uh, on YouTube would agree with. So one thing is, uh, like, I did, like I talked about, it did, I think it kept me awake when I took it in the evening. And so uh, in general, I take it in the morning. So when my wife increased her dosage from 600 up to 750, she found that it, she thought that it gave her a headache and has now switched back to 600. As we are now at the kind of three month mark, I am thinking of going up to 750 milligrams and then um, shortly after that, we'll go up to uh, the full 
thousand, the, the one gram. Um, on the positive side, I have definitely found that I have more energy and that you know I need to nap less. So specifically in the middle of the afternoon, I used to get very tired. Uh, and if it was the weekend and I had the opportunity, then I would have a snooze. Um, I almost never do that anymore, which is really good. Uh, um, you know, I went down the gym this morning and would I previously I would normally have to have a, a snooze after that but uh, today I'm not and I'm I feel fine um, second thing was you know I find that moving is easier particularly you know if I've sat in one position for a period of time like a, f a few hours then you know I would get stiff particularly my knee joints would get stiff uh, this I'm not getting anymore and so you know I, I, I find moving more easy I do seem to be able to sleep better, assuming that I take the NMN in the morning and my wife tells me that I'm snoring less, which is good for all of us. Well, definitely good for both of us. So why am I taking the time and money and investment with these supplements at this time? So I have been studying longevity and wellness and for a while now, and I'm, you know, I've come to believe the subtitle of Dr. Sinclair's book that is you know, we don't need to age, or at least in the way that we're used to. So an example of this is Dr. Sinclair's father, who is active and healthy at the age of 80. I was particularly impressed by his, his weight workout that uh, Dr. Sinclair recently posted on a, on a blog. For example, he does um, three sets of 10 for 50 kilograms doing the deadlift. So uh, that will be tough for me now. I, I would be really happy if I could still do that when I'm 80. So, you know, the results are not confirmed in humans as yet, but we have definitely seen that uh, these molecules in mice uh, have a very positive effect in terms of reducing the effects of aging. Uh, there was a recent study, the first human trial with NMN in, uh, happened in Japan where they were looking at the safety and the outcome of that was it was th that they found that it was safe and so overall I think you know the possible benefits are definitely worth the risks at this time so thank you for listening to this video if you have any questions or comments comments please leave them below I would love to hear from anyone on the same journey and to learn from your experiences so I've put links below to all the resources that I've used in putting together this video um, please review them you know if you want some background information I will provide an update if I experience significant change or as and when I find new information which seems relevant and will in any case provide an update in three months so as a final note Dr. Sinclair has said you know resveratrol and NMN is not an excuse to sit on the couch and eat pizza and for me they are only one leg in the effort that I'm making to you know reverse my aging or at least slow it down and I will be sharing some of my diet and exercise related uh, experience on the channel in the next couple of weeks so please feel free to check back or subscribe thank you again and speak to you soon